Arts and crafts time. We're gonna make our little spring signs. We've got these little easels. I have bunnies that y'all can glue onto them and carrots. And then you can draw whatever you wanna draw, you know, to go on here. Write whatever you wanna write. What do you wanna put on yours, Manny? Um, blue. You want blue? Do you want a carrot or a bunny or anything? Um, a bunny. Where do you want your bunny to go? I'm gonna put some glue. You want it on this middle one? Yeah. Okay, here's the bunny. Um, I want them up really up here. Really up here? Okay. Mm -hmm. How many? Three of them. Three of them? Okay. You want it this way? Yeah. Okay. And I'll get another carrot. Yes. Oh, good job, Manny. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, is that a flower? Yeah. It's going to be pretty. There we go. Now, I need another. I'm feeling like we have grass going on over here. What's well, gonna be blue? Oh, okay. Blue and orange carrot and bunny, okay. Sissy's gonna have a pink bunny. We got little Bob Ross over here. Happy little grass blaze. <laughs> Did you wash off your blue? Yeah. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need to use the black stone, okay? What does he do? Oh, I see what he does. Rawr! Have you been jumping right? Some may be wondering what happened to spring. It turned back into winter and took his voice away. <laughs> anyway, here's what we're making. Titus stopped by the store on his way back home and found some reduced for quick sale meat. I said, have you been watching my grocery hauls and found out how to get good deals on meat? And he shook his head for no. No, I'm just kidding. He said no to me, but his voice sounds rough. So what we're making are some, what did Kent call them? Oklahoma onion burgers? Is that what they're called? Yes, okay. <laughs> Some of it is ground, this is ground sirloin. These two are ground beef. We need French onion dip and mustard and Worcestershire sauce for the sauce. So we'll mix that up here in a minute. We're gonna go ahead and start these on the black stone. You need lots and lots of onions. So he chopped up four. I'm gonna make the patties since he's not feeling the best. That's nice, ain't it? He's shaking his head for you. All right, let me get a little thing I can put them on. It did get pretty cool on us again, y'all. Hopefully it's just for a little bit though. First, actual first day of spring, isn't too far away now, I don't think. Oh, he's making the sauce. Let me tell y'all about that while he's making that. He put in the French onion dip, and then he's just gonna put in a little bit of mustard. Now we don't have regular mustard, so we're having to use Dijon uh, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. That's it, that's all the sauce is. And then we also need to get the cheese ready. I don't have any already sliced, so we're just gonna shred some. When people lose their voice, it's like a, a really long game of charades and all. You just gotta try to figure out what they're telling you. You can talk a little bit, but. I'm trying to keep my big mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Sissy's gonna be shredding the cheese for us. The drawer up under there. Hey, there is some gouda. Get that gouda, Sissy. We're gonna grill the onions out here and we have one pepper for those who wanna add a little spice.
Um, you put the patty on top of some onions. That's the top, Daddy. That's the top. <laughs> the bottom. Then you just scoop it up and flip it over and put it on your plate. And yeah. then you put your top, your sauce on your top. You want to leave it right here for just a little while, like Kent said, to get those onion flavors. Leave it there for just a little bit so the onion steam soaks up into the bun. Yeah. Okay. Now what you want to do is make sure you kind of bear down on this a little bit and get underneath them onions and flip it right over, just like that. Mm -hmm. Can you taste really good? I can taste pretty okay, good. Okay, he can taste good. My taste drink. Can't talk good, but he can. My taste drink. <laughs> really, really good. Real good. Great news, y'all. Great news. Titus found some chicks. He actually found them a couple of days ago, but he messaged the man. He found them on Craigslist because, as you know, there are none anywhere around here at any tractor supplies or anything. But he found somebody on Craigslist that is not far from here at all, like maybe 10 or 15 minutes away, and they hatch these eggs themselves in incubators. They're Easter eggers. I really wanted to get some more Isa Browns, but Easter eggers are fun because they lay colorful eggs, so we'll take them. We don't know how many he has left, so we're not sure how many we'll be able to get. He found them a couple of days ago, but then the man told him they wouldn't be ready until yesterday, and then I figured for sure he would probably sell them all yesterday, but he didn't. He still has some left, so we're going to go see how many we can get. We're not going to get, like, I wanted to get 15, <laughs> like 10 to 15. We're not going to get that many only because there's no guarantee here if they're hens or roosters. You know how when you buy them at Tractor Supply or online and all, you can pick that you want the females? There's no guarantee here, so I don't want to, you know, like, get 10 roosters. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll all be hens. We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, there are certain ways that they say you can tell, but... You can guess. That's pretty much what you can do. Whenever they start like around six or so weeks old, then we'll be able to see signs of this is a rooster, this is a hen. So yeah, we're excited. We're gonna be getting blue or green eggs unless we get all roosters, which we hope that doesn't happen. Hey, little chickies. All right, y'all, we got the chicks. Now we're coming into tractor supply because we need to get another heat lamp for the chicks because the ducks have, you know, we have one for the ducks, we need two of them. So we're gonna go in here to get that and I'm gonna show y'all all the pretty spring stuff in here that I was telling y'all about the other day. Watch, now that we found some chicks, they're gonna have some in here, I bet. <laughs> That's the way it goes. What is the sound of chirping? Nothing here. What kind, Oh, They have Rud Rangers. Any in there? No. They have cute chicken signs. This one says Hen Haven. Dirt baths, 50 cents. Last one in is a rotten egg. Chicken Whisperer. Check this out. Strawberry sign that says homemade. I'm gonna wait for them to mark it down in a few weeks because my summer stuff is strawberries, you know? Right now it's $19.99. Come on in, meet the ladies. Beware of the chickens. There's the rotten egg sign that we got. They have some egg trays. These are pretty. They're $12.99. Coffee mugs. Little chickens. How much are you little chickens? $7.99. And then down here, more mugs, but check out the strawberry stuff. That strawberry box is $29.99 and these are $22.99. We'll wait for the mark now. <laughs> Good night, duckies. Good night, chickies. Okay, y'all, it's a few hours later now. We got everybody set up with their heat lamps and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and get the French press cleaned and ready for in the morning. And this over here, I'm gonna make sausage biscuits in the morning. The request was for ham biscuits, but I don't have any country ham, so sausage biscuits it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the flour over here. I'm out of self-rising flour, so I'm gonna have to do the all-purpose flour version of the biscuits in the morning. So I'll need the baking powder, baking soda, flour, and salt. And then I'll need, you know, of course, butter and buttermilk, but I'll get that out in the morning. I already moved the sausage from the freezer to the refrigerator, so it's thawing out for me. Oh, and we're gonna make grits. Let me get those out. All right, that's it. What do y'all think? Do we have roosters or hens out there? <laughs> like I said, we can only guess for now. We'll find out in, you know, a couple of months. My hopes are for all hens, everyone, everyone hens. <laughs> <laughs>